Hello miners, let's talk today about PCIe Express multipliers. So if like me you've bought motherboard which has only six PCIe Express slots and you find yourself wanting to add more PCIe slots because you have more cards and if like me you think that the sweet spot is eight cards, eight GPUs by, um, by rig, I know some people prefer six but it gets too expensive. Like you need to buy motherboard, CPU, frame. So I think eight is good for stability and for maximizing uh, profit cost. So if you have like me a sixth uh, PCI Express slot motherboard and you find yourself wanting more, you will need one of these uh, little modules that I will show you today. So let's see if they actually work as advertised. Let's get started. So. I have this rig here, and this is the motherboard that I last tested. And as you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and I want to use this six slots. And right now I only have five cards plugged in, and I just received two PNI 3070, so same model. So I will be using the PCIe Express multiplier that I received. Here it is. And it comes with four PCIe Express risers. And I will be using two of them and see how it goes. <laughs> so let's have a look at the module first. So this is version 006. This is the latest version you can buy on the market right now. It looks better built than the previous version. So hopefully it works better. And it comes with a heatsink. Not sure exactly what this brings to the table, but it's there, so hopefully it helps. And you just plug in the in this in this PCIe Express slot. I will be using a 16x, but technically it should work with 1x also. And what this does is provide you with uh, four USB ports. So that's three more that if you didn't use this, and you would just plug in instead of the PCIe Express module that comes with the riser, you just plug your USB cable straight into the multiplier. So your four graphics cards goes straight into the multiplier. Let's start by plugging our multiplier in the motherboard. So I will be using the last uh, available PCIe Express slot that I have. This is a 16X, but like I said, it should work perfectly with an 1X also. And that's all we have to do. Now let's plug in our first card. I like to do a step by step, so I will just use one card first and then we will do the second one after we make sure everything's working properly. Once you've plugged in the cable from the other side, you just come here and use the first available slot. So let's check in GPU Z. Yay, we've got our six cards. So this worked now. And let's shut down the computer and add the second card. Okay, let's start GPU C again. And we have 
our seven cards, one 3060 Ti, five 3070, and one 3080. So all our cards are here. Now let's go into MSI Afterburner to make some adjustments before we go check in uh, nice hash that everything is working properly. Okay, so let's start benchmarking. And we have all our cards happily mining. After a few rounds of benchmarks, let me just pull this down a little bit because my card. 3080 doesn't like to be pushed too high for some reason. This is a uh, Sue stuff, but not the best batch. Okay, so this rig is finished now and it's been running for one day. So far, it seems stable enough and uh, it's quite easy to just add slots. So I will be doing this, I think going forward because the motherboards that have 8 to 12 uh, GP PCIe Express slots are getting rarer and rarer so I think they, they don't make any of them actually because they had a lot of problems with these cards so any new card any new motherboard with the new chipsets would only have maybe six maximum so this is the way forward for me and I hope you do the same if you find yourself wanting a new motherboard I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more guides. Write down below any comments and I will link to uh, this PCIe Express multiplier that I actually bought. Bye bye.